Okay. Shall we start? Thank you. We'll start from the beginning. Okay, so I am here. <laughs> yes. So I am here with the beautiful Rosario Dawson. You look absolutely gorgeous. I love your shoes, by the way. Super cute. Ten years. Super fabulous. Look at those shoes. Shoe cam. Shoe cam. Love them. Okay, so you not only narrate this documentary, but you also are an executive producer. What drew you to this film? Um, you know, I'm going to say because I'm a New Yorker. Um, my grand, and I'm, you know, and, and from my family history and just knowing how vital my ancestry is, we're connected to the earth. And, and I never lost that even being a city girl. And I, so I like saying a New Yorker because I come from Brooklyn. I'm from Coney Island. And when I used to walk the boardwalk when I was a kid, there was this huge gap underneath the, the boardwalk where there was no sand that's now completely filled up. And that came from a lot of flooding that happened after Sandy and all these other things. I grew up mostly in the island of Manhattan, which is now completely transforming again because of Sandy and other major storms and climate change, really. And they're completely, you know, the, the, the river sides and everything that I grew up around, you're seeing all across the planet, they're trying to figure out how to avoid a New Orleans type Katrina catastrophe. And, you know, I grew up in a city where it would have been a complete concrete jungle if it weren't for people like Bette Midler, who worked really, really hard to maintain uh, community gardens all across the city, um, which to this day are still standing because of con contributions like her and activism and advocacy, because otherwise they'd all be buildings now. And, you know, we cannot be robbed of our connection to our earth. We cannot be robbed of our connection to be engaged with the planet. Um, and this is a really powerful film that shows you what a lot of people who you could recognize and relate to are doing to make an impact in their lives and their communities with solutions. Because so often we hear about climate change and we hear either how daunting it is, we are, it's, it's questioned if it even exists, or it's just so scary and it's insurmountable. And, you know, we don't get to really focus on the solutions. And I think, you know, we all need to grow. And the film is called The Need to Grow. And I really hope that people check it out. It's going to be released from the 10th through the 15th online uh, for free. So because it can't be can't be that people need to see it. So I really hope people tune in and watch it and share it with everyone because I think you'll we'll all be the better for it because we can actually really participate really beautifully and it'll be fun. Well, thank you so much, Rosario. And before I let you go, you also have a sustainable fashion line with your partner. Yes. I saw it. Love. This is actually from the Ancient and Sustainability line, which is all recycled materials. Um, and, you know, we need to continue to pollution, uh, fashion, the fashion industry is the second largest pollution polluter in the world. And we really need to be buying less and uh, recycling and, and reusing and rewearing and mending things, um, passing things down, thrifting. Um, but also, you know, making sure the organizations and companies that we are 